This is Mayu, a local beekeeper in Japan. Three days ago, this open-air colony that Mayu had set up absconded. An open-air colony is a colony out in the open like this one. Since the colony absconded, Mayu is going to dismantle it today. The reason for the colony absconding is still unclear, but hopefully there will be some clues why as Mayu takes the colony apart. The comb are attached to a thin board that is attached to the ceiling of the shed, so Mayu will start by removing the board. First, a scraper is being used to loosen the wax attached to the board and ceiling. It's very hot during the summertime in Japan, so Mayu will try to do the removal without any protective gear. However, if the remaining bees become agitated, she will suit up. The wax is much harder than Mayu was expecting. The bees seem to be just roaming around and don't appear to be collecting any honey. Mayu is struggling to loosen the board from the wax. She decided to loosen some of the screws attaching the board to the ceiling. There's a bit of wax covering one of the screws, so Mayu scrapes it away. Now she can loosen the screw. She's making a gap between the ceiling and the board to help free the comb. This honeycomb is very white because it's new comb. It is not only attached to the board, but to the actual ceiling. Maya will remove this section of comb. This will make freeing the board easier. It's very beautiful and all the cells are currently empty. It contained honey before, but the bees took the honey when they absconded. Since it's a bit difficult to see if the next comb is also attached to the ceiling, Maya will remove this section of comb as well with the scraper. There are some remaining pupae in the cap cells, but no eggs or larvae. This open-air colony was initially in a traditional Japanese beehive, but Mayu transferred the colony and honeycomb to create this open-air colony. The lighter area is newer, while the darker area is older. The lighter part of the comb was built after the colony was transferred. There are more bees than Mayu was expecting. The colony absconded at 9 a.m. three days ago. It's possible that the remaining bees had gone out to collect nectar that morning, and by the time they had returned, the colony had already absconded. The absconsion happened so quickly and lasted only about five minutes. The swarm headed towards the mountains. Mayu is almost done. Some comb is still attached to the wall, so she loosens those sections. Finally, she can slowly take the honeycomb down. These worker bees were unfortunately left behind. The board was attached to the ceiling with screws and the bees filled in the gaps with wax. Today, Mayu doesn't have a blower with her, but she still tries to gently blow away some of the bees before taking the colony apart. She will place the comb containing honey into this plastic bag. There are still quite a few worker bees on the comb. Mayu carefully slides the scraper to detach the comb and tries to blow away the lingering bees to avoid injuring or killing them.
she manages to remove the whole comb, and she can see some honey stored in the comb. Worker bees can be seen around the cells containing honey. There is honey stored in the cap cells. The section of comb that was removed by the scraper reveals some honey leaking, which is attracting the bees. The honey in the comb looks very appetizing, so Mayo decides to take a bite to see how it tastes. The honey was made in the spring, so it has a light flavor. The flowers blooming in the springtime influence the flavor of the honey. This area has pupae, so Mayo is careful not to eat them. Mayo continues to carefully remove the comb, avoiding killing any bees. There are two wires inside the comb, so Mayo will cut above the wires to remove the comb. In this third comb that was removed, Mayu found some eggs and larvae. This suggests that the colony did not plan on absconding in advance. The bees likely absconded suddenly. This piece of comb is full of honey and pollen. These cells are drone cells. The last comb contains quite a bit of honey. There are also pupae, eggs, and larvae. The queen was laying eggs right up until the absconding. The queen appears to have been healthy and there is no sign of disease. The most likely reason for the bees absconding was the disturbance from filming the colony often. Sometimes bears attack Japanese honeybees. Shimmering is a defense mechanism of Japanese honeybees to intimidate animals, such as bears. The colony would often display this defense mechanism whenever filming was taking place. It's possible that the bees mistook Mayu for a bear and decided to abscond since the bees might have believed that they could potentially be attacked. This is an important point to take into consideration when filming any future open-air colonies of Japanese honeybees. The removal has been completed and Mayu plans on rendering the beeswax from the comb in the near future. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them below in the comments section. Please feel free to check out our Instagram, where we post daily about beekeeping in Japan and of course, Japanese honeybees. We also have a website full of useful information about our native bee. Take care and see you in the next video.